And remember, this is not a competition. You are all winners just for participating. Of course, depending on your final grades, some of you may be bigger winners than others. <laughs> Ruby, fine. If you can't wait and just have to know, here's what I'm working on. Actually, I just wanted to borrow your blue marker. Behold the marvel that is Mount Ruby. It's a fully operational volcano. It looks just like your head. Would you believe it can erupt in a fiery tempest of unbridled fury? Ruby, you do realize that no matter how good your project is, mine will be better. I am, after all, the Project King. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. This is going to be my best science project yet. It's a weather nullifier an apparatus that can cancel the effects of bad weather systems. Weather nullifier? Yeah. Oh, it sounds impressive, Billy, but where is it? Oh, I don't have it yet. I've been much too busy to build it. You know, with baseball practice and television and stuff. But, Billy, it's due today. Uh, there's still plenty of time. Billy O'Toole, you are a procrastinator, huh? <gasps> Someone who keeps putting things off until the last minute, and my dad says it doesn't pay to procrastinate. But it's not the last minute yet. Oh, this just arrived for you, Billy. Right on time. See? Nothing to worry about. What is it? My mail order pre assembled science project. Mail order? Pre assembled? I guess your dad was wrong. Sometimes it does pay to procrastinate. Procrastinate. Yeah. Not only does Mount Ruby erupt, but it spews lava in five different colors, including salmon and taupe. And it's shaped just like my head. And a very lovely volcanic head it is, dear. My project charts the varying intensities of tornadoes. Did you know that the word tornado is derived from tronada, the Spanish word for thunderstorm? Ah, yes. I once had a friend named Raul who taught me a little Spanish and... Uh, <clears throat> never mind. It's a catalytic converter. It reduces the presence of harmful emissions in the atmosphere by burning leftover fuel present in the exhaust of cars. Ah, yes. Raul was a mechanic, you know. Una mechanical. <laughs> it's a weather satellite made out of dried macaroni, cheese, and beef jerky for structural integrity. Well, it uh, smells very nice, Fred. Thanks. Project King. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Mrs. Snodgrass won't be fooled by some cheap mail order project. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. I, I don't know if Billy's machine can actually do anything, but it looks good. Oh, very impressive, Billy. Uh, what is it? It is a fully operational, heavy duty, scuff proof, stain resistant weather nullifier. It cancels the effects of bad weather systems. It looks as if you put an awful lot of work into it. I've never seen such a pathetic collection of so-called Earth Science projects in my life. Hmm. Why in my day... What's that smell? Marzipan magic squares with a secret ingredient. Anchovies! Shh! Not so loud, Phantom. It's a secret ingredient, remember? I hate anchovies! On pizza you do, but I bet you never tried anchovies in dessert form. Go ahead, Phantom. Try one. No! Go ahead! No! Go ahead! No! Are you sure? And this is? I'm Johnny. Uh... And I'm Rod. I know who you are, boys. I was inquiring about your Earth Sciences project. Oh, yeah. It's a box of mud. Yeah. Johnny got some Earth. And I got some water. And then we put them together and made mud. mud. Well done, boys. Give me five. Yeah. I'm trying out another batch of cookies, Phantom. Seeing as you don't take to anchovies, what secret ingredient would you prefer? Mud. Mud? Can you imagine that? Yes, but I don't imagine it tastes very good. Are you sure? Mud! Oh, please! Mud! If you say so. As I mentioned, this is not a competition. We are all winners. 
but just for the fun of it, I will be crowning the creator of the best project, Super Whiz Brain of Earth Sciences! <laughs> Super Whiz Brain? What did she say? She said super. I heard her! Super Whiz Brain! None of those second rate projects are worthy of such an honor! Particle accelerator, perpetual motion machine. Ah, my Preter atmospheric generator. Radicus, take a memo. Shoo, dear educator. Enclosed, please find one Preter atmospheric generator for entry in your earth science competition. Sincerely, the Phantom. Sincerely, the Phantom. No, wait. As much as I'm loath to do so, I'd best sign it with my pseudonym. I wouldn't want my notoriety to taint my chances. You got it, Earl. <sighs> uh, I mean, Phantom. Now quickly, go, go, go! <laughs> What's taking him so long? And the winner is... Dear Educator, enclosed, please find... One Preter Atmospheric Generator for entry in your Earth Science About Competition. About time you got back. Uh, sincerely, Carl? Carl? Who's uh, Carl? Uh, looks like some other guy entered a project just like yours. What are the uh, chances, huh? That's not a C. It's an E. Earl! Earl! Well, there's no Carl in this class. Uh, furthermore, even an untrained eye can see that this thing is little more than an old toaster. Old toaster? Fred, please dispose of this in the recycling bin at the back of the class. Recycling bin? How dare they insult one of the greatest scientific minds in history? Yeah, how dare they insult? Uh, who are they insulting? Me! How dare they? Now show them what that old toaster can do. Tornadoes are classified on the Fujita Pearson scale. Now, an F0 tornado has a wind speed of between 40 to 72 miles per hour and is capable of minimum damage. Now, an F1 tornado can reach wind speeds of up to 112 miles per hour. An F2 tornado reaches speeds of up to 157 miles per hour. It can tear roofs off houses and knock over large trees. An F6 tornado can reach speeds of up to 379 miles. Supposed to be terrifying, devastating, incredibly dangerous. What's going on? Roticus, you're dripping all over my size key. You have a size key? Yes, and it's jammed on tiny. Well, that explains a lot. What is this stuff? It looks like mud. Now you've gone and ruined the surprise. Whoa. Very impressive demonstration, Lydia. Thanks. This is just like Lydia, keeping the best part of her project a secret. Uh, something tells me Lydia's not responsible for this. Uh-uh, uh, you know the rules, Lydia. Uh, no visual aids allowed in the hallway. You'd better go and retrieve it, dear. Uh, I could use a little help. We'll, we'll help, help her. her. Four children to handle one little tornado. But if you didn't make this twister, Lydia, then who did? Three guesses. Hmm. Johnny or Rod are unlikely candidates. I know. Earl! Brilliant, Ruby. Thanks. My first two guesses weren't really serious ones. But why would Earl make the twister so small? I have a feeling that's just temporary. Aha! This should make things more interesting. And you know, Radicus, while your mud was an annoyance, it has given me yet another brilliant idea. You really should try it, Phantom. It tastes authentic. Hey, there it is! Twister. 
No, uh, according to the mini mega mind, what's approaching from that direction is a uh, mudslide. You need a computer to tell you that. Ah! Ah! Quick, the broom closet. Ah! I love the smell of lightning in the morning. It reminds me of... Ah! My crumpet! This is bad. I'll say. I was on the verge of being crowned Super Whizbrain of Earth Sciences. And that beats Project King by a long shot. Don't count on it, Ruby. Looks like Earl is hitting us with all kinds of weather systems. There's three, anyway. The thunderstorm is headed for the auditorium. The mudslide is in the gym, and the twister is in the music room, and it just keeps getting bigger. Not bad for an old toaster, huh? What do you mean, not bad? It ruined the crumpets. Here, try the fishy swats. No. Go on. No. Are you sure? Yes! Oh! Cold enough? If the twister keeps growing at this rate, it'll tear the school apart! We gotta do something! What? what? I... I don't know! Okay, you guys, just relax and leave everything to the Project King! My weather nullifier is capable of canceling bad weather systems within a 50-foot radius. But it says a 15-foot radius on this mail order box. <laughs> 50, 15. The important thing is, it'll do the job. 15-foot radius? How are we going to get close enough? We won't have to worry about that. The twister's headed right for us. It's closing in! Ah! May I demonstrate my project now, Mrs. Snodgrass? I think that would be the timely thing to do. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> it's the spot. Knock it off! Stop! Let's see you get out of this one. <laughs> Weather nullifier. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> would you stop? Can't you see I'm busy terrorizing school children? Yes, Phantom, but you're soaked in fishy swaths. If I don't dry you off, you'll catch your death of cold. Potato soup. Ah! How exciting, class! A chance to study a meteorological disturbance up close! Request, Marcus. Not with a tornado approaching. I see. This would be one of your Earth Sciences projects? Yeah. What? Huh? Phew. Children, I'm very impressed. Oh, thanks. Uh, sorry about the mess. Oh, not at all, son. Education should be an adventure, even a disaster, when it's pertinent to the curriculum. Uh, Mr. Beaner, get Buford up here for a uh, minor cleanup, would you? Hello? My weather nullifier wasn't anything like the brochure said it would be. You can't send away for a science project. You're supposed to work on it yourself. But I did work on it. I came up with a great concept, but then I got busy with baseball practice and things, and I didn't start building it until the last minute. And then it was too late. That would be the procrastination part. Yeah. When I saw a brochure for a mail-order weather nullifier, I thought it would be just as good. I've let my friends down, the school's gonna be destroyed, and I'll probably get an F in Earth Sciences. Wait a minute. What was your original concept? 
How is your weather nullifier supposed to work? It sent out signals that attracted opposing weather systems. Then when they came together, they nullify each other. Maybe we could do the same thing. We can send out signals to Earl. There's the mudslide. Now all you two have to do is let Earl know where you are. Schoolgirls, they are schoolgirls. Ah! We've got the mudslide coming this way, and the thunderstorm should be passing the corner right now. Hey, Earl, you think I'm afraid of your pathetic little thunderstorm? Ha! I laugh in its face. Ha ha ha! Yeah, he laughs in its face. Ha ha! Causing all this delightful mayhem is giving me an appetite. <laughs> What's for supper? Oh, that's just what I've been working on all day, Phantom. I want something really special. Perfect, because really special things are on special today. What'll it be, Monsieur? <laughs> Baked solid. I'd say these weather systems are nullified. And that leaves the twister. Which is in the cafeteria. And we've got less than two minutes before the twister hits F6 and brings the whole school down. But there's no other weather system left to nullify it with. We can do it ourselves, but we'll need some heavy duty equipment. Come on. Anything you want, Phantom. Nothing is too special. I know. I want pizza! Pizza? But we always have pizza. That's what makes it so special. Ah, Slay in the kitchen all day for one. We have to hit it with a counter spin at just the right time. No! Oh, Wait, I've just located the source of all these weather systems. If we don't knock that out, we'll be back where we started. Or worse. Hmm, a minor setback. You kids have yet to experience the full power of my Preter Atmospheric Generator. So what do you want in your pizza this time, Phantom? I'm going to throw everything at them, Reticus. Everything. Everything? Everything. Anchovies? <laughs> Everything! <laughs> there! In the recycling bin! I'll show them, Reticus! More! I'll give them more! More? More! More! <laughs> Double everything! Triple everything! Quadruple! <laughs> you got it! this year. Ah, that baby was mine. Nevertheless, you all did a great job. Except for Billy, of course, whose project actually was mailed in, as it turns out. But on account of his impressive counterspin anti-twister leaf blower, I've seen fit to grant him a one-week extension. Thanks, Mrs. Snodgrass. And Billy! 
No procrastinating. I'll get right on it. I promise. Another one for the files of Flying Rhino.